Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 12 of our Config Mess 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn to set up the modern driver management community solution for Config Manager. This solution has been developed by Maurice Daly and Nikola Anderson and has been around for a good five years now. That means demo time. The modern driver management solution has simply put two parts to it. There is the driver automation tool, which you use to download and create packages in Config Manager. And then there is a PowerShell script, the invoke seam apply driver package script that is used during deployment by the task sequence to download and install the driver package. There are some prerequisites for this to work. You need to obviously have a, some sort of folder structure, network share, where you store the packages. You need to have a user account in Config Manager that has at the very least read permissions so that the tool can actually find the packages. And then you need to have PowerShell enabled in your boot image. So if I go to the website, this one here, I will share the link below here in the, below the video. This is where you download the solution. There is one download link for the driver automation tool, and there is another one to download the script. So if you start with the automation tool, it's a simple MSI that you install, next, next, finish. The PowerShell script is a simple script that you download. Now, if I go to my config manager server here, I am using primarily this boot image here. And this boot image has indeed PowerShell enabled. I have installed the driver automation tool. And when you install it in the default location, it shows up in this folder here. Updating the tool is fairly easy as well. You typically just download the latest exit file and just drop it in this folder, replace the existing one, and then the upgrade is done. But there are some configurations you need to do in the tool. So if I open the tool from the shortcut it creates, I have done some basic configurations. In common settings, I have specified where I want the drivers to be downloaded. In my config manager settings, I have specified my site server, my site code, and I have specified which package path I want or which storage path I want for my packages. And I have, and this is important, I have configured this to always compress the driver packages in the WIM format. It's simply so much more effective during deployment to download a single WIM file rather than downloading a package with say a thousand small files. Now, I've also done this here. I have configured this one to always distribute the packages to my DPs. But that's pretty much what I have done in terms of setting goes in the tool. Then what I use the tool for is simply to find either drivers or bias or both for my different models. In this case, we're going to focus on, on drivers. Now, the trick is working with the filters. For example, if I go in and pick Windows 10 22H2, I can no longer select Dell because Dell doesn't provide that in their public catalogs. And the tool is using the vendor's public catalogs. So if I want to have drivers for Dell, I would have to pick the actual Windows version like Windows 10. And then that one becomes enabled. Lenovo works a little bit with both. And HP works with the different specific versions. But um, say that I want to download a driver package for a 7050 Dell. I have a bunch of those in my lab. So I'm going to pick Windows 10. I'm going to pick Dell. I'm going to say find models. Just refreshing the list. I will search for a 7050. It found one. And I can head and download and import that package. Now, in my environment, I already downloaded this just to save some time. And the result would be if I go to my software library, go to my Dell packages here. This is where I'll find my Dell 7050 package. If I look in the content of this package, if I go to data source, 
you will see it's just the WIM file of that content. If I open that WIM file, sure enough, this is where we see the normal content of the Dell package here. Audio, video, NIC, etc. If you look in the general tab, here is the version, here is the vendor, and as you can see, it's using the description field, or rather the comment field in the packages to define what model is matching. And this is how the script is doing the match at deployment time. It actually looks for these packages. Now I have also created a package for the script. So if I go to my packages folder, I have a package called modern driver management. If I do properties on this package, go to data source, you can see this is a single package just containing that script. Now if I go to administration and go to security, I have added in a user account that is a read-only analyst and config manager. This is the account I'm going to use for the, ac uh, the access of the script. If I go to my sequence, or one of my sequences, there are basically two things you need to add. The variables for username and password, as well as the instructions to run the script. So if I go to this sequence here, click edit, scroll down a little bit, I added a group called modern driver management, and this is where I'm adding in two variables that contains the username that I granted access, and then the password for that user. And then the next step is a simple PowerShell script action or run PowerShell script action. I'm referencing the package, the name of the script, and then I specify bare metal, because this is a bare metal deployment. I specify the endpoint, and this is the SMS provider, meaning your site server. Target OS name, Windows 10, the OS version I want to target, and in this case, I also allow a fallback if it cannot find a version matching that specific version of Windows. Execution policy set to bypass, and that's the entire configuration in the sequence. Now, behind the scenes, and if you want to verify that things are working without doing a full deployment, you can use um, a bit of PowerShell. So again, here's the script that does the download, but I've created a script that I'm using to just verify that things are working. So I'm gonna set the variable to the SMS provider or the name to it, I'm going to ask for username and password, so I don't have to store that in clear text in the script. And then I can, for example, verify that I can access information in the web service. There's some data information from it. And sure enough, that was doable. I can use the admin web service to get info from a device. In this case, I'm asking for a specific resource record, and I'm selecting name, build, and operating system from it. So if I run this one here, this is how you can query the admin service for a device. This one here will get me all packages, selecting just yes, name and package ID. Show me all packages I have, not just driver packages, but also other packages that I have in the environment. But this specific query here is exactly what the invoke script is running. It actually lists driver packages only by filtering on drivers. So in this case, you can see the description. This one is the SKU number for each of these modules. And again, that's what the script is using. There is a debug option available in the script. So if I also provide a location, I already had a provider, I always already had the credentials, but I'm going to borrow the password and username out of the credentials so I can run it with the script. So in this case, I'm looking for this specific package. So I'm running the script in debug mode. Specifying the provider, username, password, and in this case, the information I want to query. Now, if I go to my 7050 package, let me just double check that I have the information correct. So 
750 here. The SKU is actually 0.7a1. So I'll go back to my PowerShell script and I will correct that one. Because now I can test this script and I can open up the log file from the script. And sure enough, it was searching for a specific package that I have to match this for this model. And sure enough, it found a matching package. Perfect. So this is how you can make sure that the packages are okay on the server side before you do a test deployment. That's all it takes to get the modern driver management solution up and running. One of the absolute greatest contribution to config manual imaging all time. A biggest thank for the authors of this tool or this solution. It has saved me so much time and many others over the years. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.